Hello everyone, welcome to another GIS Mathematics Lecture video. And in this video I want to describe the components for the transverse cylindrical projection. And what I want to do, we're not going to go through all of the math because some of it is extremely complicated. But what I want to do is I want you to get a feel for where the terms that we see in the transverse cylindrical projection come from. And so this diagram is copied out of the book, and I just want to walk through a couple of key pieces. So the first thing is this A point right here. This would be the point that you would be given, right? This would be the latitude and longitude of something that you're trying to project, say the um, latitude and longitude of a city, right? O, as always, is the center of our Earth, or, or the center of our reference globe. The W, Q, T, E, Right, this is the equator. Now, because we're dealing with a transverse cylindrical projection, if you remember back to the lecture on aspect, right, this meant that we took that cylinder and we rotated it 90 degrees. So rather than having the cylinder run north-south, centered at the equator, we're now having it run east-west, and we can pick pretty much any, we can pick pretty much any meridian that we want to be the center of our um, projection. And so what we've done here is we've just arbitrarily picked a, per, picked, picked a meridian, and that meridian we designated as N, P, Q, S, right? That's this line that we have right here, okay? The meridian N, A, T, S, this is the meridian of A, or this would be the longitude longitude of A, right? NPQS, this is our central meridian. Clear that up just a little bit. Right, central meridian. And this would be given, right? You would have to be given the central meridian, otherwise you would assume that it's centered at zero. So if you're given the central meridian, right, you're given the meridian of NPQS, N a T S is the longitude of A. Now the way that we're going to do this is we're actually going to describe A in terms of two values. And these are the values that you're going to see being used in the um, in the equations that deal with the transverse cylindrical projections. And the first is this value called alpha. And what alpha is, is alpha is the angle between P, O, and A. Right, it's this angle. Let me make this in red, right? It's this angle right here. This angle right here. This is the alpha that we typically see. And now the nice thing about alpha is that we can um, define alpha in terms of pieces of information that we're already given. Right? We can define alpha in terms of, of two numbers. Right? The equation for alpha is alpha is equal to, we're going to take the arc sign, right? remember this is the inverse sign because we want the angle Right, because alpha is this angle. So I want to use the arc sign in order to get the angle. And then we're going to set this equal to the cosine of the latitude of A. Right, so this would be given by the problem times the sine of, in this case, we want, we want to figure out what the latitude is of the angle. Right, what this change is here, right, what the latitude change is here. And this is going to be the latitude of M or central meridian. Minus our latitude of our given um, point that we're concerned about. All right, so this right here, this is the equation for alpha. And the other thing we need to be concerned with is the latitude of P. Right, the latitude of P. 
Now keep in mind, we would not be given this, right? We don't know what this latitude here is. We don't know that. So we have to figure that out. And again, because we want an angle, we're going to be having an inverse trig function, in this case arctangent, so that we get back an angle. And we want to have the arctangent of the tangent of the latitude we know, which is our given point, times the secant of, again, this difference in latitudes. Okay. So again, alpha, this is the measure of the difference here. It's going to be this angle, POA. And then the latitude of P, which we don't know, is calculated from the latitude that we do know and the difference between the latitude that we were given and this central meridian. So hopefully this makes sense. I know we're not deriving these equations, but again, I just want you to kind of understand from a, from a perspective of the diagram where these different pieces are coming from so that in the next video we can use them in the equations. So hopefully that makes sense, and as always, please reach out. Thank you.